Good morning from Anna Maria Island. We wanted to say thank you to AMI Locals for providing this beach house for us. Today, we are headed out to see some dolphins. Yay, buddy! We're gonna go on a dolphin cruise. <laughs> we are. Hopefully we're gonna see some, some active dolphins. I don't know, like, are they more active in the morning? I don't know. Well, I guess we'll have to find out. Right. But first we're gonna go grab some breakfast because it is kind of early. We're getting an early morning start. Right. And we're gonna leave straight from there to go do our dolphin cruise. Yeah, we're going somewhere that we have eaten before, which is Jenny and Janie's. Very delicious breakfast. But it's also just like right on the way, so we're gonna grab it. Or we're waiting for the captain to get the boat ready. <laughs> yeah. What are you eating for breakfast there, Jackson? You eating some potatoes? Got some eggs and some sausage and some toast. Nice. Jen got the Cuban sandwich. It's the Cuban egg sandwich. And then I got the plain burrito. It's just like eggs and potatoes and bacon and cheese. It's pretty good. Here we are, we're at the marina and we are going with a company called Anna Maria Island Dolphin Tours. And we'll put all their information in the description down below. I'm very excited because apparently we're gonna see some dolphins today like that's what they tell me they say don't worry you will see dolphins today so it's gonna be fun it's gonna be exciting we've also got the cousins here and my brother is here It'll be a fun family outing for sure buddy we're getting on a big boat I hope you're ready now you talk about this resident population it's unique you know you can go to Panama City Florida Destin Key West across the state and you're gonna see bottlenose dolphin but not the amount of residents that this particular area calls home. Uh, so there's a lot of things that play into that. One's the depth. From right here south on these inland waters for about a 35, 36 mile stretch, average depth overall is three to five feet. Very, very shallow. There he is. Our dolphin in here will grow. They're gonna be four to six foot in length. They still have to eat 5% of their body weight a day. So depending on the dolphin, you're talking 15 to 30 pounds of fish daily. The way they Grab deal with all that six. consumption they have different stomach chambers like a cow. So they're gonna eat a fish alive and whole, head first, they acid bath it down, transfer it to the next chamber. They can conserve or utilize energy at will throughout the day. That's exactly what right. did you notice just a moment ago that dolphin showed its tail or its fluke? Mm -hmm. Typically they're gonna come up, take a couple breaths, but whenever you see the tail or the fluke, the intent is to stay down a little longer. Because they won't ever expose that unless they want to get the proper angle to stay down. Unnecessary openings of the bridge, $25,000 fine. So if you request them to open up this drawbridge and you don't go underneath it, they can fine you $25,000. Like prevents pranksters from blocking off the road by lifting up the drawbridge. Oh, a little jump, a little baby jump. What we just come across, this is what we call a nursery group. You're gonna have calves and moms, but any other mature dolphin right now will always be female, always. That's just how it works. Uh, the ladies there are the, are the teens and little ones, and they're gonna zigzag channels to show them the parameters. They're gonna show them the uh, grass flats, the shallows. Since April this year, when they just came out with this number, we have 15 new calves. It's, it's pretty special. Uh, wow. Now, you got a, several boats just pulled up, right? And I told you about recognition. If they don't recognize another boat, they will stay down a little longer until they understand their intentions, especially with the nursery. They might be over here, they might surface here, uh, they might here until they know. If they don't know that boat or recognize it, especially the nursery group, they will go down a little longer. Dolphins, buddy. Something else they've discovered after all this time of research is that as these animals mature, the dorsal fin would become unique to it, like a fingerprint to us. Over the course of their lives, they're going to get what's called nicks and notches, dings and dents. So much so as they are now completely identifiable by the dorsal fin alone. So scientists come out, they do exactly what we're doing right now. They find dolphin and they take photos. They go back to their lab, they now have a program that's called Fin Base. It's dorsal fin recognition software. Yeah, let that sink in for a second. Dorsal fin recognition software, they plug that in, they know everything about the animal based off the dorsal fin. Parents, offspring, siblings, last health assessment. And after 51 years, there's over 6,000 dolphins in the database.
came over to Bird Island. And look at this bird. It's one of those newfangled mechanical birds. As we're pulling in, the manatee right here. So honestly, that was the best dolphin tour I have ever been on. Oh my gosh, Captain Chris was so great. He had so much information. Right? I feel like because he worked with like a, a scientific research team, he told us so much about dolphins that I just, I had never heard before. Right, like stuff about their behaviors. Yeah, and I was like, he also, um, because he grew up in the, like, um, what is this, like the, the boat tour industry as well. Yeah. He had a lot of cool information just about this specific area yeah. and about what the different tours do. Yeah. And it was amazing. And we saw so many dolphins. So, so many dolphins. Yeah. We yeah. can see dolphins jump, we can see baby dolphins. Well, because it's like the, what did he call it? It was like nursery season. Yeah. It was. This was awesome. Right. And we did this for Jackson's cousin's birthday. We did like this, we wanted to invite them so that they could experience the tour for her birthday. And I think this was like the perfect way to do it. Cause we saw literally, I feel like 50 dolphins. Right. <laughs> it was so many. It was really, really good. So we do highly recommend AMI dolphin tours or Anna Marie Island dolphin tours. Mm -hmm. We'll put all their information in the description down below. It was amazing. If you can get Captain Chris, like highly recommend requesting him. He did such an amazing job. Well, he said that his son also is a captain at the same tour boat company. Yeah, the whole family is involved. So that's just right? really neat. All right, so for lunch, we're gonna eat at the Ugly Grouper. And it's actually really funny because it's basically just like a block away from the marina we were at. Oh, it looks interesting. The captain said, there are a lot of fun things for the kids to do here. There it is, the namesake, the Ugly Grouper. Made out of all kinds of different car parts. Like these are all brake rotors down here. There's a clutch, some pistons, some piston rods. That looks like a street light, so I'm guessing it's not all just car parts, but a lot of car parts and motorcycle parts and license plates and grill parts. That's fun. I don't think you're ugly, Mr. Grouper. I think you've got a great personality. All right, we got our food. I got me a turkey Reuben. This looks really nice. Look at that, with a side of french fries. What'd you get, fried green tomatoes? I got crab topped fried green tomatoes with remoulade. Crab topped fried green tomatoes with remoulade. Mm -hmm. Then we got Jackson grilled cheese. And he's already dipping his french fries in his ketchup. Yeah, good job. And then just eating the ketchup off, not having, oh no buddy. Uh oh, it broke. All right, so after a quick nap after the dolphin tour, it is now time for us to go to the beach cleanup. Yeah, you ready what to you go think? clean up the beach? Yeah. So we have a wagon and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Jackson in the wagon while we're going and cleaning up the beach. You can supervise, you wanna be the supervisor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> are you so excited? All right, let's do it. You can tell everybody, say, you, you missed one. Yeah. Okay. And then if we get too hot, we can take a dip in the ocean. We've got our bathing suits on, so we're all set. Let's do it. All right, here we are. We are at the main beach access on Anna Maria Island, right across from State Road 64. And we are headed over to this tent over here to join in the cleanup efforts. We got Jackson set up in his wagon with some fans and some air conditioning going, because we're going to be moving along a couple of blocks for sure. All right, there's kind of a lot of people here ready for the beach cleanup. We got our t-shirts. The locals beach cleanup. And then we got our, our like little trash pickers and our little trash bag. <laughs> this will be fun. Ready to clean up. Buddy, are you cleaning up the beach? You're doing good. So we are looking for trash, but admittedly, this beach is already pretty darn clean. So we don't have very much in our bag yet. We're gonna keep looking though. Jackson is helping. What did you find? What'd you find, buddy? Oh, the the beach. Nice work, buddy. You found the ocean, you did it. You're doing great. 
it's so fun being at a beach cleanup because although you want the beach to be clean when you find something that's big you're like yeah we found a beer bottle that's exciting but like it's not exciting but, but <laughs> like, also but also take your trash home with you right throw it away before you leave the beach but yeah so we've already met a few of you guys thank you for coming out and supporting the beach cleanup and saying hey this has been really nice yeah and jackson i feel like this is something that i want to do with him so he understands how important it is to keep the beaches clean right bud so far you're doing great buddy <laughs> yeah. yeah that's your grabber for grabbing up beach trash he just likes the grabber as we were making our way down the beach there's a gopher tortoise right there you see him kind of in there there he goes he's moving around it's really interesting because he doesn't go in the water. It's a tortoise, not a turtle. Yeah. And he's like right next to the water over here. Oh. Look at that rain out there. Oh yeah. Oh man. We might need that. It's getting pretty hot out here. <laughs> so we ended up at another one of AMI Locals properties. This is where the beach cleanup ended. And this is called Tiki Hut. And I love this. It is right on the beach. Look, I'm like underneath. Hold on. Let me get on this the rocks. I'm wearing bare feet. Look at that. It's like Stonehenge right here and then looking back at the pool area look at all this let me show you you shaking up mommy soda there's like a pool right here a little sun shelf on it there's a hot tub and everything and there's a tiki hut back there these are all the people that help with the cleanup. And right there, right on the beach, you would just open up your back door and watch the sunset. Look at how beautiful that is. Just looking right at the back of the house and all of the back doors open up. It's such a cool looking house. All right, so we are back home from the beach cleanup. It was such a good time. Like I really enjoyed doing the beach cleanup. Well, it was such a it was such a good turnout, and it was such a fun. I, I didn't expect it to be like a party afterwards. Right. Like they had food and drinks, and we met so many like awesome people from the area. We met so many of you guys. Like it was so fun. It was really fun. We swam in that amazing pool. Yeah. <laughs> I wish we had gotten there earlier. Like I wish we were the first ones out of the gate, because then we could have gotten more trash. Oh like, yeah. <laughs> which is silly. Cause like it's good that everybody came and everybody picked up a little bit of trash yeah. but like i wanted to get more I, I mean i think that we we all collectively did a really great job so i was very proud of us as a group yeah me too yeah so i think tonight we're gonna spend the last few hours because we check out tomorrow i'm i'm super sad to be leaving like i don't want right. to go <laughs> i'm pretty sad too yeah I and mean, we had a great time i feel like we packed a lot in um on this trip and i think we packed in a lot of family time which was really the goal of this mm -hmm. trip was because Tim's brother um, and the cousins were literally right down the street. Right. So it was cool to be able to be so close to them and spend so much time with them. So this was really just like a nice, just all around a really nice trip. Right. So I think for the last few hours, we're going to kind of like chillax in the pool. Yeah, I think we're going to enjoy some time together. Um, and then we also want to try to pack up as much stuff tonight because that way in the morning, we won't be rushing so much in the morning. Right. Because I would like to kind of relax tomorrow morning a little bit too. I want to have breakfast, enjoy the wonderful beach atmosphere before we go. Good morning, Jackson. Say what are we doing morning. today? We're checking out. Boo. Boo. Say boo. But we are going to go get some breakfast real quick. So um, I looked at the menu for the North Shore Cafe. We ate lunch there the other day, but they supposedly are supposed to have the best coffee on the island. Oh. So I'll be the judge of that. Right. <laughs> and then they have a few like breakfast menu items, food, like food stuff. So what if we have that for breakfast, buddy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, let's go do it. Jackson, it's your last trip in the gym. Are you so excited or sad? Said, I love it. You love having your wind in your hair? Yeah. <laughs> Do you love feeling the wind? I'm really gonna miss just like waking up, jumping in the jump car and driving to like right down the street to the breakfast place. Really? I don't know, I think it's really fun. It's been really fun trying new places to eat on this trip because every place that we've been to we has been totally new for us. I like that this is like a small town but at the same time a big town. 
Does that make sense? Like there's a lot to do, like to eat and try here. Yeah, but I can well, still just get in a golf cart and go to it. Look at that scary mermaid lady. Which one? On the side of this house. Man. Yeah, I like that too. I like that we can just jump in the golf cart. Although this isn't really a golf cart. It's like a like a, a car yeah. without, without doors. Are you playing Connect Four? <laughs> I feel like somebody already won a long time ago. The little thing on the bottom is broken, so I can't get them out. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. You picking up all the shells? You gonna put your blue one in there? Like, yeah, good job. Enough. All right, so we placed our order. The first thing that I got was my ham and cheese croissant. This looks nice. Jackson's having this pink drink called the Jacaranda. It's real good. It's like dragon fruit and pineapple and bananas. It's really delicious. Now it's time to say goodbye to our beach house property. Oh no. Yeah, it's so sad. It was. This was a great stay. Yeah, I love this house. I think I said it already in another video, but this has been my favorite beach house that we have stayed in um, oh, yeah, since yeah. like we've been coming to Anna Maria. Yeah, so thank right. you. Thank you to AMI Locals for setting this up. I don't yeah. think we would have found this on our own. No, I don't think so. And like, it's it's in a perfect location. Like we were near everything. Right. Super close to the beach, super close to the bay, super close to all of the awesome food stuff that we've been showing you all week. Right, um, right just like a hop, skip and a jump away from Bean Point to see a sunset. And this is the door. But yeah, no, this has been fantastic. So this is Blue Pearl is the name of the property and we'll link everything down below in case you want to check it out. But I highly recommend checking out this specific property. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. So now I think we're going to go over to the beach and like spend a little bit of time playing in the waves. Should we have a little beach day? Yeah. yeah. He's He's been loving swimming, so. Let's do it. All right, so we left the rental house and now we are here. Pretty darn close to the beach right there. There's the beach access. Let's go down and have a look and see what it looks like. So we're at 45th Street and there's like a ton of space over here. Not a lot of people. And then if we just keep turning and look down there, holy macaroni, there's a lot of people. That is the main parking lot down there. And this is the stretch of beach that we actually cleaned up yesterday. And we stopped at like 48th, which was kind of like couple blocks that way but lots of space here beach day beach day you going bud what do you think oh look at how clear the water is whoa -ho -ho. Yeah, because we have, so some people were asking me about these. Oh yeah. They're not actually water wings. It's actually a life vest. Right. Like it's a Coast Guard certified life vest that just looks like water wings. And I found that it has helped improve his stance in swimming, like his position for swimming. Also, some people have asked about the red tide and uh, I do not notice any red tide today. No, it actually is it's great right now. Yeah, there have been a few points where I have felt like a little tickle in my throat mm -hmm. um but we haven't seen any dead fish no we haven't seen anything so and it also, hasn't been bad the ocean is like the perfect temperature oh yeah right it's now. nice <laughs> yeah this is big wave please fantastic what do you think buddy you like floating in the ocean can you say ocean oh. <laughs> can you <laughs> yeah can you say beach oh. yeah good you guys want to hear my favorite one can you say orange oh. do you hear it can you say cookie oh. can you say cookie oh. Cookie. <laughs> that was the first cookie was the first word 
that he said without like, prompt. Yeah. yeah. He like saw a cookie on the plate and he's like, cookie. Oh, ready. Right, bud? Okay, we love our cookies. All right, so I'm gonna pop you guys underwater, have a look around. I don't think we'll see anything, but well, let's I have a look. Some fish. Have you seen some fish? Yeah, little, like little, little fish. Can yeah. you say fish? Hey. Good, good, good job. job. All right, here we go. We're gonna, I don't have any goggles or anything with me, so you guys are gonna go under, I'm gonna stay above water. Ready? Like, what a great way to end our vacation, right? Intensely. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, no. You want to see? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I have an animal in yeah, my head. Yeah, it scared me. Wow. You want to put him back in the ocean? You going to put him back? Put him back. Put him back. Throw him back. Good Good job. Go. There you go. Bye bye. What did you find? What is that? A shell? Do you want to put it back in the ocean? Put it back in the ocean. Oh, good job. Very good. Uh oh. the music buddy yeah. he likes it good good music <laughs> okay say bye bye to our little beach setup we're all done for our trip our beach vacation is officially over are you dancing they're playing some I think Van Morrison yeah we love Van Morrison buddy Sad to see it go. All right, that's it. We're leaving. Our beach vacation is officially over. Yeah, it was fun. Are you sad, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I wish we could stay forever. I know. <laughs> Maybe one day. Right, yeah. That's the dream. Know. Yeah. But what's our ETA for our drive back? Three hours. Three hours? Yeah, I don't know why. All right, traffic. Traffic. <laughs> These are all your rocks that you got, buddy. Are you gonna put them in the jar? Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right let's try it again. Nice I think and slow. He, I think he needs some help with these. Nice oh, and there easy. you go. Gentle. These are every every easy. single rock Good that we job. got from our trip. Careful. Nice and easy. Good job, buddy. Oh, let's see. Look at this rock jar. Well, it also has shells in it, so it's a shell jar. Look at that. Shells and rocks. From wow. All your different adventures, buddy. 
It is. Oh, by the way, we're back home now. We're back home. Yay. We did it. High five, buddy. I like how he's going to high five himself. High five yourself. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Oh, yes. We did it. <laughs> we are, we're all done. That was our whole trip. That was it. That was our whole entire beach vacation. We got a lot of comments that were, not a lot, but a few people were like, hey, why did you do these out of order? Like, why did you not put, like, them out consecutively like, oh because there was stuff happening like yeah, here in orlando things were happening there were like time sensitive things that we needed to put out on special like on specific dates like right. like it was disney news that needed to go out like that day or universal news that needed to go out that day does that make sense mm -hmm. so i did break it up um and i kind of feel like that creates a little more excitement about the videos so it's right. not just like we're at the beach, we're at the beach, we're at the beach, like day after day. Right. Like, although we had a really great time, mm -hmm. <laughs> it might get a little redundant after a while. Yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us at the beach. We love Anna Maria Island. I was blown away by that dolphin tour. Oh like, my gosh. That is the best dolphin tour I've ever been on. It was so like, first of all, our captain was amazing. He had like just, a, he was like a wealth of knowledge. Right. He just knew so much about the the local dolphin population, which was really cool. Um, he, he told us stuff that like I had never heard. So another thing that was really cool about this is that we were able to bring family on the tour yeah. and they had a really great time. And that's really like all that we could ask for Right. was that like they enjoyed themselves and um, they did. So that was awesome. Yeah. Then we went and we cleaned up the beach. Yeah. Uh, it is already a very clean beach to begin <laughs> with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we like tried to Tried to go like a little bit more into the bushes, but yeah, into the dune part. Yeah, it was really neat though to be able to meet so many of you came to the beach cleanup and we got to like chat with you guys and at that beautiful house. We just had a really great time and it was for a good cause. Right. So it was something I think I said this in the video, but this is something that I want Jackson to know like how important it is to leave something better than how you right. got like. I want it to be nicer than how we left or right. how we got there. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm sure there's a saying for that. Probably. But um, I just want him to understand, like, it's important that we keep the beaches clean and that we respect nature. Yeah. So shout out to AMI locals for setting that up. It was yeah. a fantastic event. Uh, and then the next day was our checkout day. Which was very sad, but also I think it was our best beach day the whole vacation. Like, yeah. we had perfect weather. The ocean was the perfect temperature. Um, we were able to find kind of like a more secluded spot on the right. beach. We had a really good time. Jackson loves the water. He really does. I'm so happy that he loves the water as much as he does. Yeah. It makes me just my heart like happy that he's a little water baby. Me too, because I was a water baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. And then, and then uh, of course, he got to put all of his rocks in the rock jar. It's true. So we, we had some uh, rocks to remember our trip by. Yeah. So it was a fantastic trip. Yeah. I want to say thank you to AMI Locals for having us out again. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't wait to go back. Like, I love Anna Maria Island. It's definitely one of the places that's so special to us in Florida. It's our favorite Florida beach. And I highly recommend checking it out, even for just a day trip. Yeah. But it is just a really beautiful beach. Yeah. And not to mention, like, the local atmosphere, all the food and everything. Superb. Oh, yeah, yeah. We had a lot of really good food on this trip. Yeah. So all in all, a fantastic trip. And with that being said, we are off. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We're the Fraser family from Bradenton, Florida, and now it's time to pay the price.